Okay, here we are on the bus. Uh, we're deburring right now. So basically deburring is just basically where you take the sharp corner that the drill bit made. Often is full of these sharp metal burrs. We're gonna shave all those off. It's kind of get in the way of proper sealing here while simultaneously creating just this small bevel. And all that small bevel does is it provides an extra place for sealant, a little bit of a sealant reservoir, uh, which really helps it, uh, kind of increases your surface area, and it's no longer such a sharp corner for all that sealant. So this will also help when we're cleaning it and wiping it down with rags. Welcome back. And we're wiping it down with rags because otherwise all the little pieces of our rags get torn off by all the burrs. So in order to deburr, you just basically take a drill bit. It's about twice the size of the drill bit you were using. So we were using quarter inch, so a half inch is fine. And then you'll just put it on that sharp corner. Oh, I can do it there. Act like this was one of those sharp corners. And I was going the other way. And you're just gonna shave it in there just for a second. You don't want to go all the way through. Probably don't even want to go more than halfway through the metal. Uh, as thin as this is, you're just trying to give it a nice smooth transition. And when you run your hand across that, that's nice and smooth. Uh, so we're going to finish deburring. Also, interesting thing, we've got these, uh, these clamps from Harbor Freight. They're five inch long clamps, I guess. Five inch this way. Uh, I found these to be great for clamping up here and then you can rotate them up inside this so that the side of the bus can hold your piece of metal out away from the bus while you're working on it. Uh, otherwise, this is just like up against here and it gets to be a pain trying to wipe everything down during this stage. Uh, so these have been really useful for that. Got one on both sides. They're also holding the straps in place uh, so that the center of the metal can't bow out and make the whole metal fall down. That's pretty well, that's a clamp holding this strap in place at the bottom, clamp holding it in place at the top. It's pretty safe. I mean, you're gonna have to pay attention to your corners. As you can see, this one's already cutting through that one a bit. Not quite enough for me to be too worried about it, but uh, yeah, you're gonna be limited on how many times you can use these straps and you probably want to throw them away. I think they're like 20 bucks at Harbor Freight a piece, uh, 30 foot long. I'm going to go all the way over the bus. That's how we're doing it.